Guys, what's going on? Oscar De La Hoya congratulated uh, Floyd Mayweather uh, on his fighter of the decade. And he actually thought, Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya actually said that Floyd uh, deserved it. You know, he beat all of the guys uh, in and around his, in, in his weight and he probably deserves it. And which is very surprising. Very, very surprising because Oscar De La Hoya is somebody we know that has not got on with Floyd and they've had public spats as well so for him to come out and give Floyd or say Floyd is the fighter of the decade I, I found it quite surprising I thought he would probably lean towards Pacquiao but actually he said Floyd deserved it which like I said is strange for me because whenever I've seen Oscar he's um I've always feel like he there's a bit of bitterness in him about uh, Mayweather probably because of the fact that Mayweather beat him and then all of the fighters that Oscar De La Hoya had um, Mayweather beat so I just think there was some kind of there was some kind of bitterness from Oscar towards Mayweather and it used to come out quite often time to time but here in this incident I think Oscar just gave Floyd his props and said you know what he did great for the sport he's a great fighter uh, and he deserves fighter of the decade um, there's still a lot of a raging debate going on online about who should be fighter of the decade uh, I know a lot of you think Pacquiao deserved it a lot of you have a lot of Pacquiao fans on my channel of course um, but to be honest I, I I've kind of I don't mind I don't mind I, I think Mayweather was a great fighter. I, I you guys know that I always see I always say how it is and I, I think Mayweather was a brilliant fighter. I think yes you guys have a point um, that Mayweather didn't fight full the full decade. He fought half the decade, but then again, he beat Mayweather. He beat Pacquiao and Canelo, who were the other two contenders. So, you know, it's it's what you like. It's what you like. If you're a Pacquiao fan, you're gonna make a case for Pacquiao being fighter of the decade. If you're a Floyd fan, you're gonna say, well, Pacquiao was put to sleep. Pacquiao was knocked out there. Uh, he lost to Jeff Horn. Mayweather, like you know. And if you're if you're a Pacquiao fan, you're gonna say, well, Mayweather only fought for half a decade. He didn't fight the full decade. He doesn't deserve it. You know, he ran in his fights. You're gonna come up with that. So I understand. It's every if you're a, whoever you're a fan of, you're gonna support. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's like if you support Chelsea, I support Man United, or I support Leicester. You know, we're gonna have an argument. We're gonna say, oh well, he's better, and no, he's better. It's it's one. It's healthy. It's good for my channel. It's good for. It's good to have a healthy debate. What I don't like is when people start becoming ra racial about it. There's no re there's no reason to be racial. It's a debate. Uh, have a debate. I've got a lot of Floyd fans on my channel now as well. So I see in the comment section, you Pacquiao and Floyd fans going back at one another uh, in the comment section and have a dig at one another. And I find it kind of hilarious. But actually, most of it is in good humor. Uh, you know, sometimes it does cross the line and I, I don't tolerate any kind of racial behavior. You know that I don't care what it is and I don't care whether you're from the Philippines or whether you're from wherever or Africa or England or Britain or Pakistan. I, I, race, racist behavior is not allowed. Um, and I, you know, I feel like everyone's equal. I have a lot of people from all kind of races that follow me, follow my channel. Uh, so Again, I think we should just stay all respectful as long as the comments are respectful. I don't mind debates and heated debates even. It's always good about who's fighter of the decade. I don't mind that, but as long as it doesn't get racial and it's all it's all PC, political, you know, we're correct about it. Um, there's no problem. But like I said, it's done now. Mayweather won most of the fighter of the decade from most of the organization. Pacquiao won it last year. Um, and let's see who wins fighter of the decade next year. Who do you guys think will win fighter of the decade to, from to, you know from 2021 or 2020 to 2030 who do you think do you see anyone leave your thoughts and guys remember to please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video